Today, we are very fortunate to have with us in person, Dr. Lufti Maktouf. Dr. Maktouf graduated from Tunis University's Law and Economics Campus in 1978, from Paris Sorbonne Law School in 1979, and from Harvard Law School in 1982. He's a member of the New York State Bar and has since practiced law and managed investments. His charity and humanitarian work includes founding and presidency of the Almadania Al Foundation for Tunisian Youth, earning international scouting's highest distinction as a Baden Powell Fellow, sponsoring the Princess Grace Foundation New York, being president of the Sea Keepers Europe Organization for protecting the oceans, and advising Princess Charlene of Monaco on charity and education investments. Mr. Maktouf has taught at Harvard Law School, frequently lectures at the United Nations, and at universities in the US, Africa, and Europe. He has authored the book Saving Tunisia, which is published in Arabic and other languages. He is married with two children. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. This is a uh, quite, uh, I must say, a painful moment for me to uh, to speak after what I just saw. Uh, anyway, uh, Igal, thank you very much for this uh, invitation. Um, you were able to do all this because uh, your engine is passion. And I told you yesterday, that's what united us. I don't think uh, you could have done it in any other way. And uh, this is an important lesson to, um, uh, to remember. Uh, you need passion for these kinds of undertaking. Uh, you can't do it just as a mission. I took note from what uh, Katrina has mentioned. Uh, it was uh, quite a moving uh, testimony. I also um, took a few notes from this uh, very rich uh, video. And I asked myself, as a Tunisian, as a Muslim, what's anti-Semitism? Uh, and very early found out that you know, it's, it's racism. It's as simple as that. Uh, and Arabs and Muslims should be expert on this. Uh, they are victims of racism. And I'm sorry, I would like to uh, count uh, my own uh, anecdote about this. As uh, Levi mentioned, I was fortunate enough to uh, to go to school to France, uh, to Sorbonne, before coming to uh, the US, and be fortunate also to go to one of the best schools in, in this country. But when I arrived to France from Tunisia, as a you know, bright student, uh, I was admitted at Sorbonne, like many other Tunisians. By the way, Tunisia, before what happened in, in the revolution, is a country which based everything on human resources, on people, because we have, uh, thank God, no oil or gas. So the only thing we had was just to get up in the morning and go to school. I come from a very humble background, but uh, the founder of modern Tunisia, President Bourguiba, understood that. He was educated and he knew that the only tool, the only weapon possible for a country like Tunisia is education. So he devoted 30% of uh, the budget to education. We had virtually